Hello there, and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi 4, my friends, in which we're playing as the United Balkan Federation. United last time with Bulgaria. So, we're currently still at war with the Germans, and actually the Hungarians have just come into the war. We're fighting against the Axis, kind of alongside the Allies, even though... I don't remember ever inviting the Dutch, the Belgians, or Luxembourgish folk, but you know what? I'm okay with that then. Oh, that's right, because the Allies are actually fascist. Huh. Cool. Regardless, so we'll beat up the Axis, and then we'll use the Allies and have them try to kill off the Comintern with us against them. So, let's do the best we can. And someone did say I should use the integrated frontline system. So we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. It's kind of a race against time to, to a degree, to beat up the Germans, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're probably out of equipment a little bit, but that's okay. And we found the spot. Cool. Let us begin with, or continue with, Defy Moscow, eventually Balkan Research Cooperation. Oh, it sounds very nice. We have a lot of things to do over here. We'll do Prussia of the Balkans, though. During its early years, the Tsar of Bulgaria was a heavy militarized state with a large and well equipped army identified as Prussia of the Balkans until it was betrayed by its former treacherous allies. However, we rebuilt a country after the humiliating defeat of the past. And now the time is coming again to regain the former glory of Bulgaria. The world shall call us Prussia of the Balkans once again. We get more army XP, naval XP gain. More non-core manpower, more recruitable population factor, better division recovery, rate, and cost goes down, better starting new leaders. L half justify war goal sounds nice. And more maximum command power, that's what we like to see. Because the Germans at this point, they're not doing well at all. Mr. Schmittler, well, he's got... doesn't have a lot of manpower, that's kind of nice. Cool. And let's see. Poland is here, they're still the allies. Not sure why. But yeah, not bad, not bad. We want to kill all the Hungarians, but they're probably a little tough right now. I really just want to try a general attack and see what happens. Not great over here. Uh, do we have any planes? Should probably throw some planes on here. We have a few planes. Yeah, not looking great for planes. All right, all right, cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep it the way it is for now. Go and do that. Oh, it is paused. So, uh, you guys hurry up, Let's beat them up. The more pressure we put them on, the better. Yeah, it's definitely going okay like you guys. Can you guys actually win over here? I don't mind it if we can actually take out the Hungarians and then push up through here. 1936 cruiser. Someone did ask, like, where is my, or our, naval, B massive Bulgarian navy? Well, we have a small one. Got a few subby boys. Got a few ships, we'll say. They're not that great, but, you know, we'll do the best we can. I hope we can do well here. I really do. Can you guys actually all come in here? Because we want... I just want to beat up the Germans at this point. I want the war to be over against these guys because we got to move on to the next war as well, so... Oh, man, it's, where are the Hungarians? Because it looks like the Germans are really defending the Hungarian lands, which doesn't make any sense, but, you know... We'll take whatever victory we can get with, with whomever. Can I just go... Is there a lake or something right here? There might be. Seems like we're doing okay, though. Yeah, we're taking a lot of losses, but what else is new? Go up there if you can. Hop out, hop out, hop out. Come on, win, 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 win. Nice. So I guess we'll take Hungary as well, because Hungary is not considered in the Balkans. I do want to take out Romania, take over all the Balkan land, as well as defeat the Allies and take over Albania and Zara and Trieste. I think that'd be a pretty good goal for us. Hey, look, a couple encirclements. Not bad, not bad. And overran. That's what we like to see. Oh, well, these guys can be cut off almost. They've almost been cut off there. That's good. We get to Bucharest. That'd be great. Oh, actually, we already have. We don't have Bucharest because that's Romanian. Budapest, I mean. Help them out. Help them out. Push over that. Help us get to Budapest even faster. Because we're not quite getting there yet. All right, so you guys can definitely stop. I want you guys actually to hold. Stop attacking. Defend for now, if you can. Don't lose your provinces. That would not be very good. At this point, we must wait, wait to make better ships. We need more dockyards. Yeah. We definitely need more dockyards. We need more factories, just period. Dalmatia, we're building stuff up. Build even more civilian factories. We have a massive industry. Come on, Hungary. Take, lose it. Just lose Budapest. A little bit of lag. That's fine with me. Just make sure you can win. Hey, the Soviets are down here. How did... Oh, they came through Romania. That's right. Because early on, Romania guaranteed Turkey in the very first episode, and then they lost it all. Uh, gotta love the AI sometimes. Gotta love it. 
Force the attack. Come on, go, 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 go. Looks like we'll probably split up hung hungry here, too. Al is really pushing a little bit here, but not too much. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Keen with the Netherlands. Yes, please. We can actually win right there. We can encircle those three divisions. That'd be great. Manpower is not looking great, but we are mobilizing a little bit more, which is nice. Come on, Bucharest. Come on. I keep saying Bucharest. Buda, Pass, Pass. Buda and Pass. They were originally separate towns, apparently. Hey, there we go. Please capitulate them. There they go. That's what we like to see. Happy fun times for all of us. Not them, but us. What are you guys up to? You guys are just defending against those guys just in case. That's fine, whatever. If anything, actually, you guys should be right there. And you guys should be separated. So, let's see. Control. Hmm. Defensive line, sound front line. Shift click to make a defensive line on the entire border without any sub armies. Oh. So that's a defensive line. Okay, interesting. And then this. You know, I still learn about this game a whole lot. Shift, right click. Oh, without any sub army lines. Right click to draw. Defensive lines. Doesn't matter. Actually, let me try it like normal then. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Cool. Get everyone over where they need to be. That'll be good. Carriers, that's a little ahead of time. Let's grab this one. Nice. Organize the Balkan Summit. Yeah, we're pretty good. Get more political power. 1.42 a day is okay. Pressure the Balkans would be great. The fight against tyranny. Give us a lot of planning bonuses here. we got to fix these cavalry divisions up. Open assaults. Oh my goodness. I don't like that you are an old guard. I really hate old guards. You must be Greek. Looking not too bad. Looking pretty nice. Here's a mountaineer as well. Alright, give it about three seconds. Three. Why are we still fighting over this piece of dirt? Bratislava. Two. Naval gunnery's nice. Ooh, that's level one though. Holy goodness. Ooh. There we go. Five. Four, three, two. Military police is nice. Go ahead when you can. Military police. It's almost 42. We got that. We got that. Recon could be pretty nice. Do we have a... You might as well do this one. Let's see what we can do. We're going to put a, a god-awful amount of pressure on the Germans here. They've got to crack. we got to get a prog. So it looks like we'll probably be, end up taking, of course, Yugoslavia. But a good chunk of Hungary, if not parts of Czechoslovakia. Maybe not Slovakia, but maybe the Czech part of that. There you go. Nice. Because then after this, the Allies in Comintern are still technically at war with each other, because Poland is in the Allies. So, as long as they keep killing each other, that's fine with me. And we'll come in and mop everything up. Come on, guys. You're doing an awesome job. Oh, these guys are cut off. Oh, that's so nice. You guys, just kind of hang out, I suppose, up here. What is their template like? India wants... It. That is not ideal. 15. Oof. Do we not have enough motorized? Well, let's do the, this one first. We need more support equipment. Let's go ahead and do... Dominance in the Black Sea. I do prefer... One infrastructure, land forward, and air, anti-air. And every initial Bulgarian state with historical or historical claims. Fully controlled by us. Not bad. Or you do this one. You get forts, coastal forts, anti-air, and a naval base. I prefer infrastructure, honestly. Mm. That really isn't bad. But yeah, infrastructure is just better to get. War logistics, a Black Seas fleet, coastal defense ships. Oh, but we get more steel. Do we need steel? We get infrastructure too. Yeah, we could actually use steel. Let's go and grab that one. Steel pl plant and Pardonek. Bulgaria is not the richest country in the Balkans in terms of resources, and thus we need to get the most out of the treasures that are soil height. We must improve our iron plants and coal extraction facilities in Pardonek, and build our first steel manufacturing plant there. Good idea. Very good. I could trade away for more steel, but now. Nah, we're okay for now. We could probably need to raise the conscription level as well, but we'll get some more territory, hopefully, out of this. Come on, kill them off. We're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, so far, but, you know, I could be wrong about that. We've done how much? 46%, so. Oh, you guys canceled all these. That's sad. Go, 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 go. It's 
pretty red around the area. That's fine. Let's go and stop attacking. I want to finish this area first, though. Come on, take him out. Finish him off. Good. Even more pressure. Come on, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Oh my goodness, come on. There they go. There you go. This is, it's, this is pretty disgusting, not gonna lie. After this, anti sub stuff, armor, can't do that, can't do that. I can't do that, but attrition's okay. Alright, so you get a little bit... That's the upgrade? Didn't we do this, like, we get the upgrade for stuff? That seems not great. 5%, 15% more research and equipment research speed. 3% more attack and defense. Is that it? Seriously? Wow. It's a little sad. This looks not too bad. New Zealand, join the common turn. Centralized fire control. Cool. Armor-wise, we really don't have any armor. Over here, it is 1942. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's continue with our land doctrine. More. Oh, we need some recon on a recon. Let's go and grab that. Uh, we'll grab that next after we do this. There we go. So, we need... Support equipment. Actually, we're going to need a lot of support equipment where we're going. Go up five more. And build at least one thing in military factories. Five. That's great. More industry. More, 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 more. Never enough. War bonds would be great right now. Is there anything else we could probably use? Artillery, artillery research speed. Probably weapons and equipment, because that one gives you more research speed on that stuff. So let's do that one. I love war bonds, but we'll wait. There you go. You guys kind of hang out. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. The allies have invaded down there. Interesting. Oh, we have uh, six ships. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Could use more dockyards. Gonna grab two more from this. One, two. I really want to have, keep at least two lines on civilian factories because this is the time to build now. You basically try to invade the Dardanelles, which I know is over here, but or right there. But mmm, mmm, so sad. All right, good luck. At this point, I think we should be able to do pretty well. We've lost about a quarter million, mostly to the Germans, but we've killed off almost a million of them. Not bad. British Bahamas, looking kind of kind of strange. Current wars, German-Soviet war. Germans, Soviets have not lost that much against Germany. Wow. German-Luxembourgish war. Cool. German-Polish war. Matthew, oh, Sion, oh my goodness. How's China doing? Oh, they're kind of killing off the commie Chinese, but okay, whatever. I'm kind of surprised we can't break through here. I guess it's over river into mountains, so that makes sense. Any other upgrades? Yes. Grab that one immediately. Prussia of the Balkans, my friends. Hey, we linked up with the Dutch. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. And we've cut the Italians off from southern, from the rest of Germany. Northern Germany, I should say. Great. You guys go in and train. Doesn't really matter where you're at right now. Basic medium batteries, not bad. Throw on some of that, throw on some of that. There you go. You guys looking... Oh, oh goodness. Wait, I have not done that yet? My goodness. I am so far behind here. How much artillery do we have? We got enough, hopefully. I'm going to make you 40 combat with, maybe. Depending on how many divisions we have. Just grab the better improved medium batteries, because we're going to make some pretty good light cruisers, because we will have to kill off the Allies' sleep. Which, honestly, shouldn't be that good. I mean, yeah, the, the Brits there. The Italian fleet is okay, at least compared to us right now, but still. We're back up to 47%. Nice. Come on, New Germany. Once you lose Berlin, you, you've got to capitulate, right? And then we're going to watch these guys kill each other off, too. The Allies and the common term. I don't think I'm really going to give too much to the, the Benelux countries. I don't think they really should get much stuff, just because there's not really much that they can take without making it look ugly. Incline belt cruiser stuff. Grab some of this. Dual purpose stuff. That's, we're going to need that. Do we have field hospitals on these guys? We do. That is good. That is very good. Ooh, and garrisons. Switch that around. Boom. Even better. Even better. Civilian oversight. 
Sometimes, with certain countries and areas of the world, you can do other stuff like reconcile, like with the Turks. Every form of the Ottoman Empire with the Kurds, you can like get reconciliation with them. But we'll see what happens. So, who gets stuff? Uh, with the Allies, who? Get, I'm not who, sure who gets Mexico of all things. I want to give it to the Austro-Hungarians, but they're not here right now. Mm, Iberian Socialist Union. Romania, Soviet Union. You know, we'll give this part to the Soviets, because why not? I'm sure America won't mind Communist Mexico. Mm, National South Africa. Iberian Socialist Union. I might just give it to Portugal, just to make it look a little better. But really, we should probably give it to... These guys. That just makes more sense doing it like that. There you go. Alright, Hungary. And Germany. Obviously, I don't think we deserve that much from this. Oh, taking out the... Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be ugly. This is gonna be real ugly. Oh man, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, the only reason why I'm doing it like this is because the allies are gonna kill it off the commenter, and the commenter will kill these guys off. So, oh, we have enough score. There you go. Oh, it's gonna be so ugly. There you go. You can have that one. Where are my Soviet boys? You guys can deal with that stuff. Cool. Mm. I kind of want Austria, but at the same time, I'll give it to Italy. In exchange... I don't think they really deserve it, but I already gave the rest of Austria to them. For both Czechoslovakia as well as Hungary. Supervised state? No, we good. And the Reich. Ooh, just, I'll take all of it. There we go. This is really ugly. I'm, I apologize for this, but, you know, whatever. This way, they still touch each other. They can kill each other off. United Balkan Federation. Not bad. War goal against them. Occupied territories. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I could release them. It probably would make, actually, a lot more sense for me to release them, but... You know, things happen. I should probably do extraction of stuff, but that's okay. Uh, 42. Better field hospitals. Are we actually at peace now? Oh, we might be actually be at peace. Go figure. I'm going to wait for these guys to kill each other off as much as possible. I do hope the allies lose, because... Uh, trying to do a naval invasion of them is going to be impossible. Mineral extraction in the, in the Rodops. Cool. Foreign contracts, not bad. Ooh, better fire production, I like that. National Military Academy is not bad either. In a bonus of the land auction, are we done with our land auction? We're not done yet, so it might be worth getting that one now immediately. So, the Chief of the National Military Academy has presented us with a project to expand its facilities, with the aim not only of increasing the capacity of the institution, but also of providing better training for our future military commanders. Not bad, not bad. As we're just gonna kinda hang out here, and really just kinda hang out. I could liberate these guys, we don't get any extra daily compliance, do we? 0. 0.8 goes up to 0. 0.9. Resistance is pretty high, but we get a few more factors, which I do appreciate. And their resistance does go down. We don't have a lot of manpower to deal with this stuff, but... I like the factories. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I just want to watch these guys kill each other off. I would really want to kill off the Turks, because they're looking pretty thick. Looking mighty thick there. Oh, Italy. Let's get a little more steel first, though. Uh, eh, I don't want to support those guys. Let's support America. Because why not? One, two, three, four. Not bad. Keep building ourselves up. Nope. Who is not in a faction that surrounds us? Literally nobody. So... Wow. Oh! Look at that. They're in our faction, too. And there goes Uni Unitary Canada. As someone did say in the last episode, th these colors for our faction, or, or even just our, our own nation, pretty god darn ugly. Canada, of course, would join the common turn, because why not? Just, why not? Does anyone need to train? Oh, cunning tactics. Very cunning. How cunning. Anyone need to train? How are the ships being built? We really need some dockyards. Holy cow. 
We gotta get a navy going soon. War propaganda would be nice. Then dismantle Czechoslovakian forts. I could liberate these guys and get extract their manpower. And, hmm. I just think we need factories right now. Just build, build, build as much as possible. I wonder if Italy will release these guys. What is the war like between these guys? The Tuvan British War? That's quite a good amount of casualties. Soviets have lost quite a few, especially to the Poles. Hmm, Poland's lost quite a few. Not nearly as many as I'd hope. Oh, man. Who, who is it? Oh, who's harder to take out? Because they do have all of Iberia over here. They're slowly losing. If I had to take out the common turn eventually. I don't have a navy to take out the allies, though. That's the biggest thing. And we do have allies over here, but can they really defend against the allies for now? Because the longer we wait, the bigger their border becomes with us, which I don't necessarily like. Hmm. Maybe we should not have given them all of Austria. What if we form a defensive line, then? Let them come to war with us? Take off some of the heat of uh, against the common turn. So this way we can both destroy France, Italy, stuff like that. That might be the best solution for now. There you go. I got that. We got that. Better cruiser holes. Go and grab that because we want to make some better cruiser holes immediately. Yeah. Oh, that carrier? No, you got to finish this one first. Yeah, there you go. Finish that one first, because at least get a good carry there. Anyone here need upgrades? Hopefully, you guys can get them. That'd be good. Increase you by... Don't increase you by that much. I think next up, we... Oh, we are democratic. We have to be at war to raise conscription level. Oh, that sucks. I'm sort of pressure the Balkans, but... I want to make these guys 40 combo with, but now we're going to need more manpower, improve medium batteries. Good. It's a little bit too ahead of time. we got some carriers. we got those guys. We've got some of this going. We could use that eventually. We, oh, you know what? Just in case, let's do transport ship so we don't forget about so we don't need to worry about that later on. Ooh, time, just really just time to build. Build, 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 build. Build hospital 3 is great, great, great. Engineers would be nice. Let's grab some armored cars just in case. That would be even better for putting down resistance. Because resistance is actually going down. I like it like this. Going down more, 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 more. Let's take a look at manpower. Because they're beating up the Iberians. You guys are expanding citizenship. You have no manpower. Italy has quite a bit on extensive conscription. French. The French are on limited conscription. Poland is well, a good amount. The Soviets have more than enough, of course. Division wise, 360. You guys have enough. Yeah, it looks like we probably will have to help out the common turn. And how's the British Empire doing? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Quite a few divisions. Quite a bit of a navy, so we gotta focus on our aircraft as well. But it's really industry. Industry, 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 so we can build, 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 build. And actually, we're gonna need a lot more divisions then. Because to go to war with the Allies, we gotta focus on these guys down here too. And that's not gonna be very easy. So we got, let's see. Let's see the faction map mode. Allies, allies, allies over here, and then allies down there too. So. National Military Academy, cool. War Logistics, eh, that's okay. Extraction, I like extraction. Pilot training programs, this stuff looks pretty decent compared to that one, looks okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do this one. Expand the Varna Naval Base. We must expand the facilities of the Varna Naval Base and build the adequate dockyards to carry out the production of warships. Absolutely. Go as fast as possible. Because we need to build, 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 build. They annex Tanutuva, good for you guys. Come to Albania, do that. We'll probably get naval invaded eventually. Oh, not you. Asen. Awesome. Asen. Something like that. Anti submarine warfare specialist. We got. We're really running out of manpower now. Really running out of it. So we got to save our political power up, maybe. Bulgarian army, not bad, not bad. Anyone have upgrades? No, no. That is fine. You guys. And the goes coming to China. Forward observers. Great. Grab some advanced fire bases. Awesome. What are we missing with our soldiers? We got plenty of light tanks, too, actually. Plenty of infantry. Motorized is looking great. Let's convert you guys then. We got enough army XP to do this for now, right? 
40 combat with motorized. There you go. Military police would be okay, that'd be okay. Cool. You have a deficit? We almost do. Almost. Ooh, that got close. Not bad. Carrier naval bombers. Are we making carriers? Yeah, we should be. Yep, they'll be done soon enough. We're making some more dockyards. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Serbia, too. That'd be great. Build, build, build. Oh, look at that. The commenter is actually doing a little bit better now. Shoring up the line just a little bit more would be good. No, don't do that one. Do this one over here. There you go. There you go. Because all of this, they should be getting more resistance. Poland's come over here. Yeah, that's definitely going to eat them up a little bit more. Comintern is getting navally invaded as well. Which does worry me a little bit. We do have 40 combo with. We could use... Gotta throw that over there too. You know what? I'm going to make some of these divisions as Coast Guards. They're fast, they're mobile. We need more manpower. Oof. Is there anywhere else in the focus tree we can get more manpower? Oh, we did talk about this. We will modernize the industry as well next. We'll do that one next, yeah. That'll be good. And we have a war goal until when? Oh, forever. Topple war goal immediately. Pressure the Balkans. Did we get the shipyard out? Not yet. Advanced computing machines are nice. Grab some of this. Even better radar would be delightful to have. If you need it, train. If you need it, train. Have everyone train. The British New Zealand War. Six million. I'm at three million. That's not bad. For the Allies. Holy cow. I'd hate to be in Iberia right now. Wow. Yeah, we gotta make more divisions. Well, that's not enough. Especially once they start naval invading me. How many ships do you guys have? Quite a few. Especially with all these naval invasions going on. Turkey does own the Straits of, of uh, the Suez. But the Allies do own that area down there. If we come in, that could help divert some divisions around. Uh, I don't think we should come in yet. But I kind of want to. We're going to get naval invaded so hard, though. And our soldiers aren't done training. Just a little bit more time. Build, 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 build. Oh, America, we can't get everything we want from you? Okay, good luck with that. Sweden. I'm sure the Swedes for now. Nice, that's better. Expand the Barna base. Let's modernize the industry. We're to establish ourselves as a foremost industrial power within the Balkans, we must strive to modernize our industry. Increase budget allocations and improve tools to make our dreams come true. Awesome. Five research slots, never enough. Naval doctrine would be pretty beneficial to do. We have not even done that at all. Do we have close air support or what do we have? Plane wise, what do we have? A few planes, fighters, obviously. Let's say mostly bombers. Close air support, maybe? Yeah, we're using naval bombers and. Not much else. Alright. Their guns. The Scheismer. Schmeiser. Cool. Good luck. Still doing okay. They look like they're still advancing a little bit. I don't think Warsaw can really keep this up, though. With the amount of territory they're taking. Yeah, they got more manpower, but still. These guys are looking pretty okay as well. And that would draw a lot of soldiers away from the front. Which is a good thing. Oops, my bad. Clicked on the wrong button. 63. Get some engineers. We're going to need them to dig in even harder. Get the ships out. So close. Three days we'll have a carrier. And we have enough carrier planes already, so. Nice. Oh, yeah, we already have. I should look at this a little earlier. My bad. Only level one anti here. Oh, goodness. It's fine for now. Level three. Dual purpose. It was a great one to use. Uh, anti air is fine. 
Aircraft facilities are good. There you go. And even more anti-air because we don't have enough on it. Oh, rapid fire guns. Dual purpose. Lowers are piercing a little bit. And speed, but it gives you quite a bit more anti-air, which I really want to use these guys for anti-air. So it's anti-air. 11.9. I think it'd be better to do this. Actually, light battery. 9.1. There you go. We got the carry out too. Not bad. Outdated. Actually, for you guys. Level one, that's fine. That's good. Awesome. We actually have a carrier. And it's so usable. Just please don't die. <laughs> Probably the biggest thing. Just just don't die when you're working, using them, <laughs> please. Putting more dockyards up. We gotta get some more fighters. We gotta get more planes. So. Vojvodina. Come on, the casualties are just not going up as, as high as I hope they would be already. Not enough. It's. Soviets, come on, guys. If you take a lot of casualties, that's fine. These guys gotta take way more, though. Got plenty of political power though. Wow. Alright, completing uh, an Aegean Sea Fleet will upgrade this. Oh, deck size goes down. That's 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 a no-go. Look at all the debuffs to get. Yeah, it's easier to produce them. We get get them done faster, but that's just not worth it, man. Achieve the Air Force. Well, all we can do is that one. Not really worth it though. Air Reformer. Oh man. I want to get a few divisions up before we actually go to war, though. Actually, compliance-wise, it's looking better. It used to be on oh, less, a little less than 50. Nice. Hungary is doing okay. Not great, but okay. Fighters, fighters, naval bombers. We're not even getting like close air support or attack bombers. Oh, nice. Oh, boy, we're going to extend the line here just a wee bit. Get some more defense, we're gonna need it. Yeah, we definitely need more divisions down here too. I love that we have this though. I really do. We actually have a carrier. Now obviously with Italians show up, our ships are gonna get blown all to smithereens, but that's fine, whatever. Hmm. France. How's the resistance? France indivisible. Hey, they're out of manpower, that's good. Italy, how's the resistance over here? You're probably doing okay with it, actually. Poland, well. The more they take, the more resistance and guns they lose, so. Not bad. North Africa's not looking bad. They invaded on their people's Republic of Spain. That is looking disgusting. Come on, pop up these divisions. They're so close. How long is it going to take? 10%? I'm not going to wait that long. Half you guys go right there immediately. Uh, actually, go right there. there That'd be good. How many more divisions do we need for this? You know what? Let's send the other half too. There you go. That should be more than enough. You two go right here. Get to the line. Better radar. Awesome. Even better radar after that. Yes, yes. And now we're out of manpower completely. Hmm. You guys should be able to do okay. You guys are going to be the, the soldiers that kind of drive around destroying enemy fortifications, we'll call it. Oh, actually. Anything else? No, not really. And, well, looks good enough to me. Raise up conscription. That's fine. Now, considering lowering... Oh, we can't go lower. Okay. Nice. Call in the allies. That'd be good. Region-wide integration would be good to do as well. Get some more factories going immediately. Nice. They're all ready to kill me off. Wait, hold on. Is Poland Poland's not in the war? British Empire is. Make sure we get the fleet out. Have you guys push in as hard as possible. You guys get go in. Oh, that's Italian Croatia. There you go. 
Uh, Poland, are you in the war? Oh yeah, they'll be in the war soon enough though. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Leave, 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 leave. Leave, don't lose a carrier immediately. No, we just made it. That's so nice. I think we made it. I think we made it. It's good. Leave, leave. Don't engage. Oh, we lost, heavy, we lost couple, some of the screens. That's fine, whatever. Let's go home, go home, go home, go home. If they're going to naval invade, we will kill them off pretty easily, though. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you so. Let's take out Albania first. Come on, Poles, get in the war. God dang it, come on, Imperialist Canada. Cool. Go for Trieste. Go into here. I don't want to just find the Poles. Seriously. Just don't leave yet. We can do that. Balkan research. I'd like to do Balkan research, but we gotta wait. Ooh, uh, that seems okay. Contract companies. A Black Seas fleet. Not a bad idea. Let's get even more dockyards. In order to increase our production capability for, or capacity for warships, we will invest in the expansion of the Burgess Naval Base and the construction of new shipyards in the area. Sounds like a very, very, very good idea. How many planes do we have over here? Not enough. You know, if we got a hundred of these guys, I'm going to use them anyways. If they want to bomb us, well, they can try. Beautiful. Italian Croatia is gone. What's going on over here? Oh, you got trapped in the territory. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what's going on? I'll sub. That makes sense. Uh, can I tell you to not go there? No? There you go. Just a little laggy there. It's fine, it's fine. You guys did a great job for now. I'm gonna tell you to do this. Just for now, until we get more guys going here. Uh, yeah, do that. Something like that for now, it's fine. Because these, these areas will get hit probably the hardest. It's like to all half of you guys come up here, just in case. Have they been called in? I hopefully think so. There they go. Reorganize the lines. We lose a little bit of territory. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with them soon enough. Yeah, these, these ships got hurt hard. We need even more seal now. France is not in the war, huh? That's fine, that's fine. Keep building ourselves up. That'll be good. Organize ourselves. Now the Soviets should be able to push in pretty darn well. Now we can't. And you guys are still organizing, which kind of sucks. And not dismantling the Czechoslovakian forts. No way. No, 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 no. We're going to need some refineries, too. Now we can go to war with the Poles, of course. Of course. Ah. <sighs> What's next up for research? Advanced fire bases will be great. Oh, we actually found something here. Look at that. Wish for you guys. Put you guys down in half. There you go. It'll be harder for these for everyone to spot these guys, so. You have anything here? You're level one? Not really. Do you guys have anything? Ooh. Are you seriously by yourself? Yeah, just combine them into this group. That's fine. The upgrades, level four. Drill. Submarine attack and defense. So you should be the sub leader. Not the other, not the other group, but whatever. Whatever. You know, I'm going to use you guys as the main meal here. The main meal, I mean, the main strike force. Engineers, too. Great. It's 42. Better anti air would probably be ideal. Grab some more anti tank. 
Oh, they're doing a little okay now. They probably had to pull some divisions away because we got involved. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, that's a bit too much. Stop training with the French. We still need our own factories. Come over here. Oh, actually, no. We're still doing land auction. That's fine. Chalk and all. Yes, please. Still quite a mess. Still quite a mess. Allies have not lost nearly enough yet. Cool. They're pretty much ready to go. How much manpower did the Italians have yet? Oh, good amount. The Poles, not so much. The French, not so much. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. 40 combat with motorized divisions, not even tanks. Let's go in there if we can immediately. Come on. Take Vienna. It's not looking good. Just grab this guy. Might as well, right? Might as well. 42. Better armored cars mechanized. No, we good. Uh, actually, this will give you more, more hardness for our motorized, right? Might as well, right? Maybe. I guess. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. At least get like two factories on them. That'd be fine. Anything here? Anything here? No, we're making some good stuff, though. It's only three divisions, but... We come from Vienna. We took Vienna, which is awesome! Help support the attack. There you go. I don't think the Italians and the Poles can really do too much against us, but that's good. Why do you have divi How do you have divisions there? That makes no sense. Sometimes you learn not to question things. Three divisions have been encircled. Go in and exterminate them. Beautiful. Just please don't lose Vienna. We worked very hard for that. Graz is next. And then get close to Klagenfurt, hopefully. Ooh, we could not really help out the Spanish there then. That sucks. Oh, well, it's good. Could not be Spanish, I guess, right now. So, we'll put weapon fours, help out with the attack. Anything else? It's almost 43. Almost there. Doing that stuff. Naval Doctrine. Well, we are using carriers, so... Base Strike. That would absolutely help out. Okay, absolutely. And you're still repairing... Oh, God, we have to repair the actual carrier itself. That's not good. Now, if we can't win there, then we're all going to strike right here. Weaken the line, weaken the Poles, weaken the Battalions. Nice. Get in there, good, they're attacking us. God, I love 40 combo with motorized. And having enough manpower to do anything. Even better radar. Let's get the best radar. We're gonna attack this area and then we'll get Graz. That'd be nice. God, if we could, like... I don't want to push through Poland. My biggest problem with pushing through Poland is that the Soviets won't be able to kill them off too. I want the Soviets to struggle. That's my main reason why we're not killing off the Poles. Italians, completely fair game. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. You guys help support the attack. Six divisions are going to have to die here. And we don't have air superiority, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Whatever. A united, ugly Balkan nation. That's okay. And we shall end this episode on... War Logistics... Motorized Black Sea Fleet. Let's do that one. If we want to have some of the some sort of naval presence, presence, we need to assemble a fleet suitable for the Black Sea, focusing on the construction of destroyers, for they're the backbone of any modern fleet. But that's going to end today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will push in more and more and just hopefully destroy a good chunk of the Allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.